to the channel. Based on the thumbnail and title, I'm sure you guys already know what this video is going to be about, but today Kaz and I are going to teach you guys how to rebuild your three-piece wheels. But before we begin, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Nifty Built for sending us the barrels for these beautiful Work Meister S1 three-piece. And uh, another big shout out to Vex Motorsports for demounting the tires for us and uh, just being really cool. The homies at Vex are always super chill, so make sure you guys hit them up if you guys need any tire mounting, wheel balancing, or alignments. And another big shout out to my homie Kaz for being hella chill about me cracking his wheels. Uh, <laughs> all good, bro. My, my bad, bro. <laughs> all good. It's all good. It's the stand scene, but yeah, let's let's get started. Let's do it, man. Hell yeah. Hey. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the damages. So on this wheel, we have two nice cracks, one right here and one right here. And I think there's even a bend if you check it out, maybe over here, I think. Oh yeah, you can kind can of see, you see it. it? You can <laughs> kind of see it. It's pretty gnarly. It's a pretty, neat, pretty nice bend. Damn. Yeah, I know. That's what happens when you run camber. Yep. But it ain't stopping us. And then over here, we also have maybe like a little baby crack like right here. So I think it's a good time to replace these barrels for sure. Yeah. I, I beat up these barrels pretty good too, so that's <laughs> nice. not all Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bruh. Should be fun. Yeah, it should be fun. Time. Should be fun. Also, this whole process that Kaz and I are gonna show you on rebuilding these wheels um, will basically work if you're trying to replace your lip as well, or even faces. So this process is basically a whole rebuild, so. Let's do it. All right, so let's check out these barrels that Nifty Bill sent us. Here we have a, a five and a half inch barrel, I believe. Five and, we and a half inch, yeah. And uh, originally these are 18 by nine and a half with a four and a half inch barrel, right? Correct. So you got that five These, yeah, they're nine and a half, yeah. You right. already know you gotta right. put all the size to the lid. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and upsize the wheel to a 10 and a half by changing the four and a half barrel to a five and a half barrel. So it should be fun. So the tools that you guys gonna need um, in order to rebuild these wheels is a 12 millimeter socket um, because the nuts on the back of the wheel are indeed 12 mil nuts, at least for this work wheel. Uh, you're also gonna need a 12.516 socket to go ahead and hold this end of the hardware. And as you can see, it holds really well. You guys are also gonna need some blue masking tape, a tube of silicone, and what is this called? A caulking gun? Caulking gun, yeah. Yeah, caulking so. gun. <laughs> Just so that you can lay nice beads uh, when you're ready to seal the wheel. And yeah, that's about it. All right. Are that's you ready it. to get started, bro? Yeah, let's do it, bro. Let's get started, man. Yo, and uh, big shout out to Ricky from Nifty Bill for sending out all these dope nifty built stickers like he sent a bunch man you want some yeah i'm done <laughs> here hey. you go man T take it thanks bro yeah i'll take one. all of them yeah, yeah I'll take just, all of them bro i'll just take all of them they're bro. your wheels hey. <laughs> <laughs> it also helps if you have a half inch drive impact gun just so you can you know power out the back nut but if you don't have it you can do it by hand too you don't need these tools it just makes your life a lot easier a lot easier like a lot easier <laughs> and a lot faster too hell yeah so since kaz has some really nice gold hardware on these wheels 
we're gonna try our best not to scratch it. So we're gonna see if we can just back out these nuts without even touching the hardware. I would say it's a good idea to break all of them first and then, so we don't, you know, and then use that. Yeah, right? it's, it's less, yeah, you got less pressure on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sick, we got the weight in the way. <laughs> we'll come back to that. socket to hold the gold hardware um, to keep it from rotating so that we can actually back out the nut completely. All right, I might... There's one. Very precise hands right now. It's like I'm performing a surgery. All right, Christian, you want me to hold the other side while you break these? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> So we just got all the hardware out. Next up for us to do is take a razor blade and go ahead and cut the silicone on each side so that we can go ahead and uh, separate the barrel, face, and lip. And then after that, we'll be scraping all this silicone off so that it's ready for a new silicone bead to be set. This is kind of fun, bro. It is. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Yeah. So it looks like we can go ahead and take the face off now. Oh, I always thought it was sandwiched. Yeah, me too. So in oh. case you guys, you know, <laughs> didn't know. And we almost dropped the face, right? Yeah, and that, <laughs> that would've been bad, but now you guys know the, act, the face is actually behind the lip and barrel. Yeah. So, or at least for this style wheel. I don't know if it's like that for all wheels. No, no, no. no, no, no all weds are uh, sandwiched. Weds are sandwiched. I see. <laughs> well, shit, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so the next step is to take your razor blade and go ahead and cut the silicone where it kind of keeps the barrel and lip in place. Just like that. Boom. Man, that's a pretty clean cut. <laughs> yeah, not bad. <laughs> for, for, some, for someone who doesn't know what the hell they're doing. That silicone is pretty well set, to be honest, because it is hard to cut. Later on in the video, when we start setting the bead of the silicone into this cavity here, um, you wanna make sure that you don't have any air bubbles in there. I spoke on the phone with Ricky from Nifty Built and he recommended to not have any bubbles. I don't know if it's recommended. I think you can't have any bubbles because I think that'll promote like a leak. Right, yeah. So we'll get into that later, but just so you guys know, give you guys a heads up. If you have a friend that has a hefty uh, box cutter, use this one, but if you don't uh, have one, you can get like one of these cheap at like Home Depot or Just Supply. This will do the job. Like it worked. Yeah, I made this cut right here. Boom, but this one obviously looks like... Yeah, I think that that works work better. So, have a better grip. sorry little box cutter, we're not going to use you today. We use the hefty one. Hell yeah, we got a deep ass cut over here. All right, let's see if she splits. Oh, she's splitting. Oh! Yeah, see? All right in the middle. Here we go. Hell yeah. Sick. 
So we have successfully separated the lip and the barrel with just a razor blade. So nice. Yeah, dude. That's it. We're actually getting somewhere. So we don't need this anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right into my car. <laughs> Alright. So the next step obviously is gonna be to clean all the silicone off the lip. You wanna show them how it looks, guys? What you're gonna have left over. So you can go ahead and uh, clean as much as you can with the blade. But then afterwards, it's highly recommended that you use a steel brushed drill bit to clean all the silicone off because it's very important that you don't have any leftover excess silicone. And uh, if you don't have those, you could use steel wool to clean off all the silicone. But if you have the money to spend like five bucks on a little steel brush, I highly recommend that because it'll save you a lot of time. anymore so if you guys don't have a steel brush drill bit like us you can find one of these steel brushes if you have one laying around and uh, scrape off the silicone this will actually work just as well too Nice and smooth. So I got most of the silicone gunk off with just the razor blade. And Kaz over here is putting in work with the steel brush. Yeah. Getting all that little excess silicone. Damn. They hitting the gym or what? <laughs> in the gym right now, man. <laughs> so Kaz and I managed to get this really nice and smooth with just this wire brush. So the next thing that we have to do here is get acetone on a rag and wipe everything down so that it's super clean for us to lay the new silicone bead. Damn, that's a very nice fish, man. It's a very nice fish. <laughs> Is it bad to get acetone on your hands? All right, guys, so it's all clean. Let's go ahead and put the barrel on. and lined up. Now we're gonna take the beautiful S1 face and line her up. Everything's good. So Kaz and I kind of agreed that the best thing for us to do is put in all the hardware and hand tight it so that the bolt actually lines up the barrel, lip, and face kind of where it should be so that we don't get some weird like warped um, setup. Not warped setup, but like misaligned setup. Yeah. Cause I feel like if we were to torque it down right now without having all the hardware in there, the barrel might not seat perfectly with the lip, therefore causing like maybe an uneven or yeah. unbalanced wheel. So yeah. let us know what you guys think in the comment section below about our logic with that and uh, also leave a comment on what you think about this whole wheel rebuild. Yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button, show some love and support. Hey. So Kaz and I got all the hardware hand tight, so the wheel should be kind of seated the way it should be. So we go ahead and lift it up, rotate it over, and uh, start torquing these nuts and bolts down. And like I said earlier, in case you guys forgot, you guys are gonna want to torque the hardware down at 18 pounds, so yeah, let's get it.
so we just finished torquing down all the hardware um, after we did our little cross pattern uh, clockwise or counterclockwise you pick we just check the torque in a clockwise um, rotation and uh, made sure that every bolt and every nut was torqued to 18. So I definitely recommend doing that because we noticed that they were loose as we uh, kind of started applying pressure on each on each piece of hardware. Does that sound right? Did I say that okay? Fuck it, huh? <laughs> so before you lay any silicone on the wheel, make sure you buy some masking tape so you can mask um, around the cavity or like right on this edge of the cavity so that when you're done laying the silicone and when it's done drying you can peel the masking tape off giving it a really nice edge. Right Cass? Clean job. Exactly. Let's do it baby. <laughs> Girlfriend's over there like cringe. Cringy AF. So I just got done masking off the parts that we want the silicone to end on the lip and barrel. Uh, now you want to go ahead and actually clean this area one last time with acetone before you lay the silicone. Sounds like a good idea. Yep. Alright, so after you're done cleaning the cavity with acetone, you're going to start using your silicone and the caulking gun. I would recommend starting out with a really small silicone bead and then laying that just so that you can avoid any air pockets or any bubbles in the silicone. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a small line and rotate the wheel. So let's see. Having a hard time there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, dude? Ow. Dude, what the hell, man? <laughs> it pops in my face right now. <laughs> yeah, you worked that, Christian. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, dude. I can work on cars and stuff, but I can't use like these commercial tools, you know what I mean? Like these <laughs> industrial tools. Mm -hmm. Is that is there pressure yeah. applying to it? More. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Okay, yeah, guys. Don't forget to poke this. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you're gonna look like an idiot like me and fucking struggle. Okay, now. Oh! <gasps> okay. Alright, let's do this, guys. Okay. <laughs> But anyways, back to what I was doing. Small bead. Small bead. Okay. Alright. Cool. I guess I'm gonna come back. So Ricky from if you go uses his three fingers like this, and then he'll rotate. Sick. Uh, get a closer look. Hey, not bad. Not too bad, huh? Not too bad. Probably gonna put like another yeah. thin bead over it and then just get some more silicone on there. Not bad at all. Sick. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Oh! Sick ass! Come on, dude! I'd say more is better than less, so. Yeah. Well, bam, son. This time I'm kind of grazing my hand over it a little bit less, with less pressure. Charm. 
him the stroke. <laughs> yeah, buddy. The wheels are done. The silicone is laid. So there are two options as far as when you can peel the masking tape. So if you set the silicone pretty quick and uh, you're happy with it and it hasn't been too long, it hasn't dried like at all, you can go ahead and peel the masking tape while it's really wet. But the issue with that is if you, like say you're kind of picky like Kaz and I and you kind of took your time with it, you could actually peel the whole bead off. So, Ricky recommended waiting at least 24 hours for the silicone to completely cure and then peel the masking tape after that. Just because when it's dry, it won't lift and also it will peel like paper. So, that's what we're gonna do. So, in exactly 24 hours, these wheels will be ready to be mounted with tires, baby. We out here. We hey, did it, bro. Good shit, bro. Good, Good shit. That was fun. Good work, man. Hell yeah. You too, bro. Now you I too. Tell them what I do. <laughs> <laughs> for real but we're not gonna waste your time with that um, that is basically the whole process of rebuilding three-piece wheels whether you have a cracked barrel or a messed up lip or even if you just want to change out the face or do whatever that is the process guys we hope that this little how-to video helps you guys out if you guys are thinking about building three-piece wheels or rebuilding uh, three-piece wheels that you guys already have don't forget to check out this gentleman's channel. He's got some dope ass content, man. You, man. Really good quality. And his BRZ is about to do some about to big major things. big things for sure. You guys ain't even ready. But same thing with the Subaru. Got some big things coming for the Subaru. We're gonna be drifting, doing some crazy stuff. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that rear wheel drive drifting action. And uh, if you already subscribed, please hit that like button and leave a comment on the video. Did Kaz and I do a good job? Was this video helpful? Let us know. And please help your boy get to 100K. I'm like at 88K subscribers right now and I'm almost there. Please help me out. Hit that subscribe button and we will catch you guys next time. Peace out.